In this section, we'll talk about the check structures. Here, I'm going to create a brand new check set file. I'm just going to call this model checks test. Now I can continue to put in the author description, add in a dialogue image, and of course I can allow checks to be set as required or optional. I'm going to jump right to structure. So I'm going to look for check set structure and organization. Note that the menu on the left hand side can be brought out where you can actually see the menu items in their full context. So here in structure, I'm able to put in a heading, section, and any options I have with either that heading or section. If I want to, I could simply come over here and click on heading. By default, it's called heading one. For this title, I'm going to put in test one. Under test one, I can add in a section. Here, as soon as I add in a new section under my header, in comes section one. So here, I can say test set A. I can give it a title and description. If I want to, I can continue adding in sections. And as you see, it will take the name here and add 8.1. I can continue adding in sections just like so. This acts much like a tree, so I can click on any one of these arrows and minimize that whole section set. If I want to get rid of an entire heading plus its sections, I can just simply click on the delete this heading and it will clear out that heading plus all sections that are below it. Now I'm going to show you what a check set looks like when it's fully developed. I'm going to come up here to general settings and click on open. I'm not going to save these settings. I'm going to come over here to element checks organized by family category. This is something that I have in my library and click on OK. And when I come over here to structure, we can see how this was completely laid out. This particular check set file is organized by family category. You can see that not only do I have headings, but I also have sections here. The sections here are family category. And then underneath each section is my checks. I can remove any check that I want to. I can also copy or duplicate this check and I can edit this check as well. If I click on delete this check, I can delete this check and the great thing here is that it's not completely removed. Here it will stay in the unused checks section. You can continue to do this with other checks if you want to and build your other check set files using these unused checks. To do that, you can simply just click and drag into the appropriate area that you want. To edit a check, I can simply look for the check, look for the little pen icon or the pencil icon, and click edit this check. When you do that, it takes you right to the advanced dialog, and here you can continue to build out your checks. To understand how to build out your checks, please refer to the advanced check builder video. If you are happy with your structure at any point, you can simply click on save. You can also create your own check set file based on this check set by saving as. And then of course you can save and close.